Today I will be showing you all of the new killer leaks. This is going to be a lot of fun, guys. There are some major killer leaks for a few of them, like Ghostface. And I'm really excited to show you guys what Homer has done here. I'm actually, uh, this is the first leak in like a long time now. Like over a month. So, yeah, dude, this is going to be a lot of fun, guys. But yeah, if you're new here, this is Area 51. We are in the test servers, so... These leaks are not actually out yet, so that's, like, the main reason. But, yeah, dude, uh, we are chilling in the test server, and Homer has made some changes. Hopefully, you know, they'll be uh, joining uh, the, the main game eventually. But, yeah, anyway, um, the main thing we're going to be showing you first off is Leatherface. So, Leatherface has actually had some major, major changes. And the main thing is that Leatherface has actually lost her blood, or their blood i should say on their shirt look weatherface has no blood on them anymore like if we if we freeze them for a second or we can kill uh you but um oh my goodness someone uh killed weatherface but as you can see weatherface has like no blood on their shirt anymore if you've seen weatherface in the main game weatherface has a ton of blood on their like vest but in this version uh weatherface has nothing on them which is Really shocking. I don't know why Homer did it. Well, obviously, Homer wants to de bloodify Sactic, I guess, for age guidelines or age restrictions that Roblox has. But yeah, so Homer has removed Leatherface's blood, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, dude, uh, that's the first, like, real change that we have here. As you can see here, there is no more blood on them. Like, you can see, like, it's just, it's just, like, black dirt now. So it's like a yellow shirt with black, like, with dirt, which is. A little cursed, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm so used to seeing Leatherface with some sort of blood on them. But, yeah, no, dude. Leatherface kind of looks less scary now. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Leatherface is not that terrifying like this. <laughs> Obviously, their mask is supposed to be terrifying. But, like, this really isn't terrifying anymore. It's just kind of like, oh, it's a person with a chainsaw, you know? But, yeah, dude. Unfortunately, uh, the Leatherface's, like, vest has no more blood on it anymore. But, yeah, that's, like, the just the first change. Um, the second change is that Ghostface has been completely buffed, guys, and I'm really excited to show you guys this one. He actually damages you, like, just by himself. He doesn't need a knife to damage you. So if he throws his knife and he gives you a hug, you will get damaged. I am gonna go on killer mode and show you guys some of the major buffs that he has had, because they are insane, guys. Uh, Ghostface has some crazy buffs, but yeah, dude... Um, let's get this rolling as, um, we're going to now go show you guys, I think, Eyeless or Alien. We'll have to see, like, what we want to do. So, oh, I got blinded by Eyeless. But, apparently, um, Killer Particles can pass through players. Okay, Premium, I want you to show that Killer Particles can go through people. Okay, or someone, give them a hug. Someone give them a hug. So, as you can see, the particles are on the floor after he hit them. So, yeah, dude, um, this is actually really interesting. I kind of like this update because that means that, like, particles can now hit multiple players at once. So, this is actually a buff for Eyeless and Alien. Uh, I believe this also is a buff for Chucky. Um, I'm not 100% about that. HG can probably confirm. But, yeah, dude, uh, really interesting. Uh, I'm a fan of the buff, uh, especially, you know, if the Alien's trying to spit at you. The Alien this works for as well, guys. Uh, his particles will go through the floor as well. But, yeah, dude, so... Those are some of the changes to killers. We've had a few buffs. Um, and it looks like Chucky, yeah, his uh, particles still go through people as well. So, uh, yeah, really interesting uh, buffs, I will say. But, yeah, anyway, let's go over to killer mode. I want to show you guys some major ghost face buffs because, oh, my gosh, dude, it's crazy. All right, guys, so I'm unfortunately survivor, but I'll show you guys, like, what ghost face does. So, everyone, this is going to be a lot of fun. So, ghost face, throw the knife at me. You can throw, feel free to throw the knife at me. So, the knife does normal damage, right? And he can collect it. But what if he takes my gun and he throws the gun at me? Show what happens. He kills, guys! If he hits you with someone's gun, it literally insta-kills. It's so OP, guys. I'll show you guys, like, me killing some people in a next clip. But, dude, this is a massive, massive buff. Also, I don't think it insta-kills, actually. Now I think about it. He actually just survived that, but... Um, yeah, dude, uh, it does a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, it doesn't insta-kill, I believe. But what if he takes, like, a big gun? Like, what if he takes, like, a, an M16A2? Uh, take, you can feel free to take my M16A2. Uh, let me also heal as well. Um, but yeah, dude, um, okay, yeah, go for it, Ghostface. Dude, okay, yeah, so, um, if he does barely miss, it will actually, uh, not insta-kill. But, dude, it does a lot of damage, um... We have a Freddy that's trying to kill us, uh, unfortunately. 
Okay, a brazier nerd. Wow! Anyway, oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, the guns can literally kill you. Uh, and he, he does a ton of damage with them. So, Ghostface is extremely dangerous if he gets a hold of someone's gun. Because he can just toss it. Um, and yeah, dude, it's kind of OP, I'm not going to lie. Uh, especially, you know, if he hit, you know, direct hits you. Oh my, dude, he just triple killed us. Did you just see that? Oh my gosh, dude. But yeah, dude, if you get direct hit by it, it can instantly kill. Yeah, dude, I think that could be a good badge, actually. Like, get, like, three kills with one gun as Ghostface. That's a badge idea for Homer. But yeah, guys, let's actually go to, I want to become Ghostface and show you guys what it's like to actually throw with the guns. So, let's show you guys, like, what that looks like. And yeah, let's get rolling. Alright guys, I am Ghostface, and as you can see, I have a knife, but the knife doesn't really do that much damage, I'm not gonna lie. If you throw like this, uh, usually, like, what you click first is gonna, yeah, so I can actually grab my knife. So as you can see here, um, I think it's like the first throw that you take. Um, let me take, like, can I take Ghostface gun? I'm kidding. Um, I'll take someone's gun here, and let's see. Oh my gosh, dude. So if you shoot, if you throw from far, it's actually pretty difficult. Let's see if any other guns. Let's just try a bunch of items, guys. I think let's, let's actually go like myth bust and see like, you know what happens. Dude, that's so OP. Like, oh my gosh. Um, whose gun can I take next? Like, what kind of thing can I take? Oh, I'll take that. Okay, yeah, heal yourself, uh, premium. But yeah, dude. Dude, do you just see that? Let's see what P90 does. All right, so we got the P90. And we're going to toss it uh, right here. Oh, I actually missed him. But yeah, I bet you it would have done better damage. Oh, with it, we're trying to take his can. That's funny. Okay, guys, uh, let me take like a grapple hook maybe or something. Um. Oh my god, you can actually take grapple hooks and throw them. Dude, uh, that did absolutely no damage. Wait, let's try that again, guys. Grapple hook didn't do any damage. But Nux, stand still. Oh, uh, he didn't stand still. Let me, uh, let me grab it again. Okay, guys, let's try this. Okay, so yeah, it can, but it looks like the grapple is actually harder to throw than, uh, most things. Oh my gosh, dude! It's so insane just how, like, fast you can die to stuff. Freeze gun! Oh, wow! Okay, he actually dodged that. Uh, Landmine's not the best, uh, item to throw, apparently, um, unfortunately. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna throw out Mirko. Oh my gosh. We're gonna throw like this. Oh my god, I actually missed him. Dude, it's so insane how like fast... He must be a strong guy. Oh, look at that! Look how far he can throw. Guys, how far can he throw, actually? Varro, Premium, do you have an SCD? Okay, well, I got your can instead. Oh my god, dude! Guys, the can just instant insta him. Oh my goodness, dude. That's crazy. Oh my. So yeah, I would say SVD is harder to throw just because it's a big gun. Like, it's just not as easy to hit people with. Okay, well, I, I did kill someone there. Um, oh my gosh, dude. This is like the best way to kill people. Also, if you click a player and they run around... Like, they will, the gun will actually throw at them. Also, I don't believe you can actually pick up a gun and another ghost face throws, unfortunately. But, yeah, dude, this is actually an awesome update by Homer. I am a fan of this one. This one is actually amazing. Anyway, so if you throw something, it will go to that red arrow. If that red arrow is on a player, then that actually means that it will try to throw at the player directly. Even if they're moving... Uh, obviously, if they're moving now, it's harder to hit them. So I, that's why I like this update. It's very, it's you. If you get a throw, you know, it's actually pretty nice. By the way, yeah, you can only throw the guns that you pick up. So if I picked up this op, this, so I couldn't actually pick up that uh, ghost face freeze gun, unfortunately. That'd be really cool though if, if I could pick up another ghost face item. But yeah, guys, this is the new update. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more and like the video to show support. I hope to see you in the next one. And this was an awesome update by Homer. I approve.